Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders, an initiative by World Development Corporation. I am Sunny Pancholi, anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to share their experiences, thoughts, ideas, and best practices in order to inspire one another and future leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings acquired by these industry leaders. We also hope that by conducting these FaceTime with industry stalwarts interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone by identifying, nurturing, and using the trade secrets that are proven success formulas for many. And this is what we aim to achieve with these sessions which are a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry giant on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Dinkar Deshpande. He is an experienced professional specializing in project management, operational management, and manufacturing management of BP, BOPET and BOPP film lines. With a strong background in electrical engineering, Mr. Desh Pandey has a proven track record in leading and optimizing operations, driving top-line growth, and achieving operational excellence. His expertise lies in capital project management, workforce optimization, safety management, cost reduction, and developing management teams. Currently, he is serving as the technical head at Jindal Films Americas, where he is responsible for two operational plants within the America region. Welcome to FaceTime with Leaders, Mr. Desh Pandey. Thank you, uh, Sunny. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, FaceTime uh, platform. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Pleasure, sir. Yeah. So, Mr. Desh Pandey, could you please let our viewers know how your journey has been in becoming technical head at Jindal Films Americas? Yeah. Thank you so much. See, basically, I started my career in uh, four, four decades ago in 1981, I started after completing my engineering. I, it was a, I initially worked for seven years into the paper plants in projects. And thereafter, I switched over to the packaging films uh, company. The company name is uh, Cosmo Films Limited. Basically, they are pioneer in bringing the, you know, the packaging films for food packaging in India. So I started there working in 1987. There, I, I was leading the project and then uh, into the manufacturing in production. Basically, they, this packaging field has grown multifold. If I have to share the number, in 1985-86, the total market uh, was around 2,000 tons in India. And today it has reached to 80,000 tons. So it is a massive growth within the country and for the export. So I joined this uh, company and their opportunity was there for me to you know, interact with the European, American and German uh, companies, those who were making the equipments for manufacturing this. So this is how I started and, uh, you know, my career in packaging film business that is called BOBP and BOPED. Basically, these are two very versatile polymers used for, you know, packaging across the globe. Uh, I was also working with a, a French company, is an OEM, and there I was automation consultant. Basically, my role was to develop the automation for the equipments or the plants which a French company was supplying. I worked there for say three years in France and came back to India then joined Jindal Films Limited. Again, Jindal was a company invested into the BOPP films uh, equipments in, of course it is in Nasik Maharashtra. It was a greenfield project. I took the project challenge there and there after I have uh, installed around eight lines there. Uh, and we, we from say 15,000 metric ton per annum capacity, we went to 20,000 tons per annum capacity expansion. And, uh, you know, that was the size of project. 
So I worked there. Then I uh, took over to the production, manufacturing entire campus, uh, managing entire campus. And then I was asked to lead in America. Uh, Jindal Films had purchased, uh, taken over the Exxon Mobil's two plants over there. And then I went there as a technical head to you know, establish the best practices in industry. Because though the plants were in America, that uh, plants were relatively older compared to the Indian uh, plants. So to bring in the good practices in manufacturing, I went there and then I was leading. This is how I started working in America. I came back in 2021, back to India. And now I have changed my company from Jindal to Uflex Limited. This is also one of the biggest player in the packaging film business. This company has uh, around 10 uh, plants worldwide. We have a presence in 10 uh, countries. This is a brief, uh, you know, how I came from uh, paper to film to project to the, you know, the corporate company over here. Yeah. Right. Mr. Deshpande, thank you for the excellent start to this interview. And it's an honor to interact with someone who exudes such a strong corporate personality. So, okay, continuing our conversation, we would like to know that you have really wide skill set and a vast range of expertise. So which of the corresponding job roles do you enjoy the most? And what are the usual challenges you face with them? Yeah, look, uh, first of all, whatever I do, I enjoy that. It's my individual uh, approach to, if you don't enjoy, you cannot do any Excel in any field, right? So my domain was basically a project and thereafter manufacturing, uh, you know, efficiency improvement and so on. So in project management, there are three key uh, parameters, which I learned during my initial phase of uh, project management working. Each project has to be done in a timeline is the most is important, this is the essence of a project if you complete within time frame. Second most important is in within the budget frame. So that you win the success of a project with these two parameters. And of course, whatever you do, you should have to have a safe a working environment you are creating and you are completing the project in a safest manner. This I uh, this is one of my uh, area or area there I can work. Uh, I I explained about these two things. When you go to the manufacturing, the things are different, totally different. I will not say these are the challenges, but you have to adapt to the newer environments. In any manufacturing, efficiency of a production is first and foremost. Then right. cost management. Okay. I mean, there is a, every day there is an opportunity to improve your, I mean, reduce your cost, improve your bottom line. And this is how you have to work day after day on manufacturing front. And the biggest, another important, I would say important aspect in manufacturing is utilization of energy in whatever manner it is in an efficient way. So these, these are not challenges, but these are the domain areas where one has to work during project and the manufacturing. So this is all I can say about, uh, you know, in few words. About this. Okay, Mr. Deshpande. So building on that, uh, we would like to know that our uh, three principles deduced from the learnings of your professional life. Yeah. Uh, the three principles are very simple. You know, my journey is almost of 40 years. And during this process, I have undergone a several training programs, you know, and uh, interactions with the people. It was, it was always a learning. In my opinion, the three uh, points are, I have learned one thing that working together works. You know, whenever you are working in any company, you are working with people, not with machine. So you, you need to build a team who has a right blend and a synergy 
is such that there is always a highest you know outcome of a, the effort which team is doing second point i i like to tell you you have continuous learning you know basically i am an electrical engineer and i was doing initially for in my core field of engineering but later on i developed my interest in polymer science in processing of the uh, you know product in efficiency management in improvement management and i was always a, a active member of the teams which were doing all these activities okay one more uh, one concern uh, there was a program training program which i uh, was going on I, I remember that what he explained the the uh, person who was taking a program he says you have to always ask a question at the end of the day that what i would have done better today than what i have done you know so these are the three things which i think i implemented throughout my life working together works then continuous learning and then you know what can i do better what can i learn something new and the important thing is you know everything you will achieve if you have a dream and without dream you can can't achieve anything you, you you will not be motivated yourself to do something so i was dreaming when i was in young uh, young age that i need to be a uh, you know business unit head or a, in a corporate team so i started watching the behaviors of the ceos and this is how i changed myself i brought to that and then i i was there so this is how can i share with you the things rightly said mr deshpande so uh our viewers would like to know that when and how did you get your first exposure to sustainability or uh, let me put it this way have you ever felt a need for better esg or corporate governance in your field and could you share some instances exactly see corporate governance and the uh, statutory requirements now from the esg perspective okay you know uh, in 1980s when i was working with a paper plant i have seen what is the impact of uh, you know the pollutants on the society on uh, you know the company's environment and all so there first i felt that something i mean not something i mean each company has to do something to honor and respect the environment okay so that there i could see that how you should make a sustainability into the because no organization can run without addressing the environmental issues which are most important from environment point of view from society point of view from you know the industry point of view today after say 30 to 40 years of you know in my industrial uh, journey i work with now everything with a zero tolerance this means when i we build a factory or something uh, you know new establishment we see that there is a zero in, uh, discharge from pollutants from the factory and we take all adequate measures uh, on air quality on uh, water quality on landfill quality and all and we address during the uh, you know project implementation stage and this is how i mean there is nothing uh, specific we do because one has to be a sustainable in order to be a longer uh, you know player in the industry so mr deshpande how technologically dynamic is your field and what are the most remarkable changes you have seen with the change in technology and what changes do you expect to see uh, with the introduction of technology like iot uh, ai ml big data blockchain web 3.0 etc fortunately the packaging field which is you know uh, grown up in past 40 years and it has seen the technological advancement which were uh, done in this field so i would say today 
in 1980s also the most modern power electronics you know information technology was used in this uh, field over a period of last say 30 years there is always a technology newer technology adoption in this field and you know the productivity has gone ten folds because of utilization of a technology today for managing the uh, you know the process we need a most less number of manpower that has a technology advantage then the productivity the repeatability in the quality which has you know because only because of possible because of the technology which is very uh, embedded in this particularly bopp bopet processes as far as iot is concerned you know it has impacted the whole world so this particularly for this process we have got now the you know the role of our oems role of our supporters the you know sharing the information reports is all on internet iot tools industry four so you know analyzing each parameter on day to day basis conservation of energy you know so that adds the you know minimum we have to reduce consumption of energy in order to uh, address the you know global warming and all so that is continuously being done with the help of uh, technology iot industry standard 4 and of course ai and ml these two fields are relatively newer and yet to impact on particularly on this field yeah okay so since we are uh, discussing technology and its impact on uh, the sustainability part as well uh, here is my next for you since you are now an esg and corporate governance expert what values do you offer to the corporate world see first of all it is most important to address the as a conscious uh, citizen or a leader one has to very seriously address the uh, or implement the esd esg things again this is the responsibility of individuals and i say i i, I suggest that one has to focus as seriously as you are doing for manufacturing uh, that was very insightful of you mr desh pandey and uh... We are building the Global Thought Leaders Community for cross-pollination of knowledge and a community of independent directors for having better corporate governance in the country. So what are your thoughts about these initiatives taken by Mr. Zishan Pathan, Mr. Hevel Mehta, and the whole team of WDC? Yeah, actually, you know, I came across this uh, WDC and it has helped me I joined this forum uh, four months before and I started studying and this was completely a new uh, thought process for me. I worked in industry for 40 years, but it was my focus was only on, on the technical part of the plant, efficiency management, project management, etc, etc. But this has given me a really a very good, uh, you know, the it has developed my thought process in such a way that I need to be more on an ESG part in corporate governance, building teams. I really appreciate and admire the efforts taken by WDC in developing this course. The contents are excellent and it is really a wonderful knowledge one person gets. I'm thankful for, uh, I mean, Jishan and team for imparting this knowledge to me. And I am lucky. I'm really, honestly speaking, I'm very lucky to come across this, continued with this forum, understood the things. Right. Yes, Mr. Deshpande, your expertise and passion for the subject matter were evident throughout the interview, and it was inspiring to witness your dedication to excellence. Fantastic conversing with you, and I'm pretty sure that your insights will inspire the future leaders. 
Thank you, Mr. Dinkar Deshpande, for joining us today. Wish you the best for your future endeavors. Moreover, trust that this initiative by Directors Institute has unquestionably expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day.